please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I have been listening to Big Finish. I've been listening to less Big Finish of late. I have to tell you, I'm buying less because I just trust them less. I honestly, uh, uh, um, I've been burnt way too many times, right? Just way too many times to feel like I'm going to uh, go out and let them give them a punt. Like, I was thinking, am I going to get the UFO box set? I, I kind of found uh, fancy trying out uh, uh, Adam Adamant. But, you know, it's... <sighs> I, I, honestly, and I do, I do mention this release a lot, but it's very indicative of I think the problem that I have with Big, which I love. I love and adore Big Finish. Don't get me wrong. I am, I'm such a fan of them. Uh, uh, but the Space ninety nine uh, uh, Earthbound release was a thinly veiled Brexit analogy. From uh, was it from this year? I think. Uh, uh, or yeah, I think it was. It, 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 it came out this year, uh, and the analogy was that Simmons. Uh, 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 forces an election and cheats to win it so they can put resources into finding a way home and uh, Koenig's like, no, it's impossible. It's scientifically impossible. And he pushes it anyway, uh, uh, nearly killing them all, right? <laughs> yeah, essentially. It's a, and it was a very clear Brexit analogy, like saying, oh, Brexit's impossible. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that if you had a gun to the head of every bureaucrat from you know, uh, uh, throughout Europe and, and England and said, Either work out how to do Brexit as as was people voted for, uh, or I will shoot your balls off. Uh, assuming they're male, of course. Uh, 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 they would work it out, right? I think they would work it out. I think they didn't want to, but that's me. I really don't know much about it. I really genuinely don't know much about it. What I do know is how the people who wrote that box set feel about Brexit. Do you think anybody doesn't know how you feel about Brexit over at Big Finish? We all know, right? Everybody knows. You're not, and, and if you agree with you, you're going to go, oh, yeah, jolly good, jolly good. And if you don't disagree with me, which is half your bloody audience, right, you're going to go, oh, God, why are you lecturing me? But what's not going to happen is nobody's going to listen to it and go, wow, I never thought of that before. I, I, now I'm, I'm anti-Brexit. Oh, yeah, I am. No, yeah, you're asking me to spend 15, 20 bucks uh, uh, on an entertainment. I don't need that in i don't need to put that money down on finding out what you feel about the uh, uh so uh social or political uh uh agenda items when we all know what you feel about it because you spend your life screaming about it right so i'm much less inclined to take a punt on big finish and i'm listening to less big finish now as well has the quality gone down i don't know so the release we're going to be talking about today is doctor of war uh doctor about doctor of war destiny and I found it It took me quite some time to get through it, right? I'm also finding the same with uh, old Doctors, classic Doctors, new monsters. I'm still only halfway through that. That's from a couple of months ago, right? And I'm finding it like a slog to get through. But when I hit something like 40, boom, I went through that in a second, right? Well, I had to listen to that. I just went, which is fantastic. 40 was one of my favorite things they've done, maybe ever. It's really, really, really good, right? It's really, really good. Uh, uh, and I'm just thinking, maybe the quality is dropping, which is why I'm finding them, them, them a slog to, uh, to get through. Fine, so before you get in the review, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me, honestly, let me know what you think. If you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know, right? Uh, 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 but again, yeah, this is why I'm listening to Let's Big Finish, essentially. So like, share, subscribe, comment, sign up my Substack. Sign up my, my Substack, by the way, has tons and tons. It's, it's an email newsletter. I send it every day. I try and put in... Uh, uh, out of print stuff all the time. Like I got all the Virgin New Adventures as PDFs. I, I keep sending them out and uh, old articles from Doctor Who magazine, from, especially from the the dawn of Big Finish. I love doing the reviews from like the early days. That, that that's really fun. Uh, 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 and, yeah, that's free. You know? <laughs> so if, and also let you let you know about all my content uh, uh, in the inevitable uh, uh, event, which I'm surprised actually. It's October nineteenth. I'm in Banja. I really thought my channel will be will be spiked before the. Uh, uh, November midterms in the US but uh, uh, thankfully not but anyway when I am bad you'll be able to find me through the uh, my sub stack there's a paid version which uh, my channel's not monetized if you if you want to send me a couple of bucks that would be great it's uh, five bucks a month you only need to get one month this month you're getting this book The Imperium and Love Letter Telly Fancy in 96 is fantastic artwork by Dominic Ranch I mean it really is fantastic artwork I wrote it uh, imagine James Bond Doctor Who Emma Pill The Black Slap from 2001 and a monkey in a space suit in a super group together uh, uh we've got a great backup stream in there was by stavano cardaselli i wrote that as well called the ice warriors uh, uh, uh 
It was a free strip I did online, right? <laughs> Essentially, but it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, that's five bucks. Go sign up, baby. Go sign up. Fine. Let's talk about this latest release. Uh, Doctor Unbound. Now, I like the Doctor Unbound range. I've got all of them. I've got most of everything, right? And I really like this kind of new invention of it. So this is the second volume. Uh, in the first volume, we they recreated Tom Baker's classic, Have I Got the Right Speech? Do I have the right? I think that's the greatest moment of Doctor Who, really. I think that's the most definitive moment of Doctor Who, where it teaches children moral ambiguity and moral... Uh, 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 moral strength at the same time. It's just breathtakingly good, right? Absolutely fantastic. So uh, uh, in, in this version, he does ultimately put their wires together, blowing up the Daleks. Uh, 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 but then that causes that creates a time war that causes him to regenerate. And he regenerates into the Doctor of War, played by Colin Baker. A war doctor played by Colin Baker. A cute idea. A cute idea that works very well. So the, the, the feeling of this series, the first thing is time going insane like a, a time war where time is literally torn apart and uh, uh it's working to uh lesser or greater degrees i would say ultimately with this set lesser degrees sadly you know i uh i thought the uh the first box set was very good i remember the one story it being a bit naff but generally speaking because it's so like you know a uh, uh, time uh, uh, tearing itself apart and inverting. You can kind of get away with, with a lot of stuff. So I, I like the first box set a lot. Uh, the second box set, as I said, I find uh, far less successful, right? Is it a recommend? I mean, I'm glad I got the second box set. I mean, it's a good recommend for me. I mean, I'm basically a completist. Uh, uh, um, is it a recommend in terms of hearing where the store, story goes? Not really. Although uh, some of the stories on this are, are indeed excellent. So let's go go through the stories. Uh, we got, uh, I'll read you the whole blurb. Uh, times have changed. The choice was made and the universe diverged. Now all of history is at war. Uh, and that's really the, the ongoing vibe of the episode. Uh, one man stands at the center of all, but whose side is he on? Is he on the side of the angels or the demons? Or does anybody know which is which? He he was the doctor, but now the doctor no more. He is the warrior, the doctor of war. So the first story, and I think the only 100% successful one is uh, Who Am I? And it was, not even say 100% successful because uh, Colin Baker is, is little more than a cameo throughout the story, which I was somewhat miffed about. I, I, I also got to listen to uh, the Eric Roberts master, uh, Nemesis Express. And I read uh, a review of that saying, yeah, he's not really in it much. There's more Chase Masters. And I'm like, really? Again, this is why I'm, I, I more, less often I take a punt on Big Finish. Because, you know, uh, 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 Dalek Universe. Dalek Universe really said it all. It was a three box set series uh, of nine episodes with starring uh, David Tennant in the TV 21 Dalek Universe world with Daleks doing Dalek -y stuff, being Dalek -y, uh, uh, exterminating around. And then you didn't get a Dalek story until the third box set. I mean, you've got to remember, you, you're, you're, you know, this isn't just a, a, an expression or self expression for you, you know, a, a, you know an act of self expression for you. This is a commercial uh, uh, endeavor, and you have to please the audience you know like William Shakespeare understood that right you have to please the audience not please yourself and I understand it's difficult because to for, with writing you've got to be um honest to yourself true to yourself and express yourself uh, freely I think to get uh, get good uh, uh uh good writing but at the same time you need to get bums on seats, baby. Bums on seats, right? Uh, uh, um, which I'm not sure you're doing so much. So the first story, actually, is pretty good. Uh, the Test of the 17 Marat War. So this is a, a, a Face of Evil revisited. I love Face of Evil. Face of Evil, I, I'm a sucker for it. It's one of my all-time favorite stories. Uh, this is Who Am I by N uh, Nigel Fares. So in this Time War version, we have the Master uh, has... Uh, um, uh, imprinted himself on Zoanon, right? And in the trailer, which if I remember, I'll put it at the end of this video because it's very, very good. Uh, we have uh, 
who was it? Uh, uh, you know, you, you, you know, the doctor's face, Tom Baker's face on the side of the cliff, and it changes into the master's face because uh, uh, reality is altering, reality is changing. So, so why not? Basically, had a, a, was running a eugenics program where you get the strength of the of the Sever team and the intellect of the Tesh, and you marry them together, uh, creating an Uber being, which is essentially what the master is trying to do th uh, uh, throughout this. Uh, he's trying to do that, th uh, do that throughout this to. Uh, 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 create create an army which then uh, 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 Colin uh, spoilers <laughs> uh, 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 which then Colin Baker turns up uh, you know, right at the end to see if he can use it, it's again it's very good Louise Jameson excellent in this right uh, uh, this is a really good story uh, it's the only one there's the only one in, in this box that I can say is a really good story uh Time Killers by Liz Lizzie Hopley. Arriving on Marinus in search of a temporal weapon. The the warrior and the master. And I do like them. They pairing them up together in, the, in this. Uh, uh, it's actually a good combination. Uh, the warrior and the master are confronted uh, by a place where time is literally money. The master finds himself uh, in changed circumstances. The warrior finds himself with a deadly decision to make. So this one is... I would say significantly less successful. It feels much more like a fairy tale with fairy tale logic rather than science fiction. Um, it's uh, uh, somewhat confusing uh, uh, and somewhat disjointed, but that that's the nature of this uh, um, of this box set, right? Of of this series to be confusing and disjointed. And again, it's always talking about the uh, uh, time being ripped apart. Is it that compelling? It, it took me about a week to get through this because I just kept getting bored, essentially, right? Uh, uh, so the first one, I wasn't bored at all. Again, 40, wasn't bored at all. I just kept getting bored, right? Uh, uh, and then finally, uh, there you have The Key to the Key to Time by Tim Foley. Uh, uh, that one really, really didn't work for me, right? Uh, as the battle continues to rage across uh, history and cosmos, the White Guardian opts to provide the warrior with a way out. Located at the end of the dangerous quest, an even more dangerous companion. But can the time war ever truly end? So... Again, we have reality sh shattering. He goes to the the White Guardian. Now is now female, of course. Uh, uh, t uh, uh, turns up. And she needs to find the want the warrior to find the key to time, and he pairs him up with uh, with a companion in the TARDIS. He expected that companion to be the master. It turns out to be Davros. Terry Malloy, excellent as always. Tom Baker, excellent as always. Uh, uh, the plot is just. I'm sure it makes sense, but I'm not sure it's worth the effort to make it make sense. I just recorded a, a, a review of Westworld, right? Now, my review of Westworld, uh, six season two, is essentially you need to put a lot of uh, effort into it to understand the story, but I really think it's worth the effort. I don't think it's worth the effort with this story, right? I just don't think it was worth the effort at all. Uh, uh, and, and it's clever and it works but uh, in in a certain way, but it's worked much better before the... Uh, uh, it, it, it worked better, and I think it was that Divergent trilogy, uh, no, that, that Divergent H Doctor story um, by Jim Mortimer, right? I, that, 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 as I, I think it was Jim Mortimer, that, that was pretty darn good. Uh, uh, this I found it incomprehensible, right? I mean, I really genuinely incomprehensible. There's a bit in it where uh, reality alters again, and it's now Colin Baker recording. Uh, 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 his uh, recording this at Big Finish, so it's uh, rather than the warrior. So it, it, it goes in and out of realities, uh, uh, and it's just it doesn't work that well, right? It just doesn't. It's too confusing to work the well, and I don't really think it's worth the effort to put put into it. So this seems to be the end of the Doctor of War uh, series. I. I I, I uh, they did say on the Big Finish podcast that they uh, Ralph Steve Davis very politely asked them ne uh, not to recast the Doctor as somebody new uh, in Doctor Unbound. Maybe that ties into uh, what he's going to be doing for the sixth uh, you know, anniversary. Is this a recommend? I don't know. I, I honestly, honestly, I don't know. I'm glad I got it. I didn't think it was that good, right? So I work it out for yourself, right? Whatever you think that means. If that you think that means you should get it, then you should get it. If not, I, it's not. It's not like again, uh, an absolute out, out, out and out recommend. Let's see if I can find that story. It was an Eighth Doctor story collections. Uh, really? It can't be just. It was. How was it? Oh, here we go. Eighth Doctor collection. Uh, sort by release date. Okay, recent first. So we go way back. 
Whoa, back, 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 back. Back, Sutek, back. It was probably cheaper than this. You know? I, I mean, if they release these stories you know, individually, I would t totally give a recommend to the first one. No, it's before all this. Come on, come on, back, back, back. Uh, before that, get, getting there, though. Is it Cardoria? Uh, maybe. Or Faith? No, it wasn't Faith. Oh, no, Natural History of Fear, right? Two ninety nine does something very, very, very similar. I would say uh, uh, far, far, you know, far, far superior way from 2004, uh, 2004, 18 years ago, right? 18 years ago, uh, much stronger, right? Much stronger doing basically the same thing. Uh, uh, and also in this, they, they, they keep getting the Doctor Who theme, but they use the audio visuals Doctor Who theme. Audio visuals was the fan group that made uh, these these audio Doctor Who plays, starring Nick Briggs as a Doctor, which grew into Big Finish, right? From there, they were the same crew that made the Bernie Summerfield stuff, uh, and they made that to prove to BBC they could do it. Uh, uh, um, so they use that theme tune, which I, which I liked a lot. Uh, uh, sadly, again, sadly, not not uh, not uh, uh, the was it the Doctor of War was not as good as this. <laughs> so you know, uh, two ninety nine, baby. That's what I would. That this is a recommend, right? This is a recommend. Doctor of War, uh, not so much. My name's Felix Beckett, the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>